today has been absolutely exceptional. Malo Gusto. Uh, he registered more successful attacking third passes, more successful crosses and more successful take-ons than any other player for, Chris, for either Crystal Palace or Chelsea. Also registered seven ball recoveries. I thought it was exceptional last night. Uh, the cross into the box was... Sorry, the assist for Gallagher's... For the equaliser, I think, was, was, was brilliant. He put an exceptional cross in for Nicholas Jackson's header at Villa. Um, and in the Athletic as well, they're saying that Malagusto is now a trusted member of the starting lineup and will continue to feature regularly for the rest of the season. That should also mean James will not have to take any risks. His competition with Gusto can wait until he is good and ready. Do you know, mate, the biggest compliment we can give Malagusto, apart from what he does on the football pitch, is that no one's really asking when Reese James is coming back. That in itself is that that's an exceptional compliment. That is the biggest compliment you can give him. The fact, do you know what I find mad, right? Is one that he's only 20, and two, how we signed a player of his quality for relatively cheap and seemingly unchallenged from any other major clubs. And mate, he's been absolutely exceptional, an absolute revelation. As I was saying earlier with Cole Palmer, yes, there's been a lot of recruitment that I feel has been wrong. When they get it right, they deserve praise. And this Gusto signing, I said it at the time when we signed another right back. This will be the most important signing. Maybe maybe the other a top class number nine. This will be the most important signing we make uh, under this ownership. And I think right now we're, we're being proven that. I can't believe how good he's been. Yeah, bro. Honestly, like oh, Malagusto, man. What a uh, what a signing and what a player. Honestly, um, uh, did we get him for twenty mil from uh, was it from Lille or Leon? From Leon, we we obviously we signed him in, we signed him last January and then we left him on loan for the rest left of the on season. Loan, yeah. I mean, I, I, I couldn't believe, I still can't believe how old, how old he is to be honest with you. Like, 20 years old, you don't you don't associate a player that's that polished as him as well. Um, I mean, yeah, you can do it all. We can go forward. He can come back as well. A one-on-one defending is good. His crossing is good as well. He's strong. He knows when to sort of take that risk of a pass as well. And um, yeah, he he acted like the, like a leader for me yesterday as well because in, in that first half where a lot of players were under par, um, I thought I thought he was one of the better players consistently um, throughout the uh, for, throughout the game, and that's why he got my man of the match in my opinion as well. So um, yeah, um, we're, we're so lucky to have him. And like for me, bro, like um, if we have Gusto at the moment, I'm not really thinking about Reese James to be honest with you. Um, he can really sort of uh, take his time to recover and stuff and um, recover from surgery. But um, we do have to be careful, with Gusto, though, because. He can be injury prone as well. We don't want a repeat of what's happened to Reese James, and we have to care. No, I mean, he, he, came, well. he came off. He came off last night, and Potch said it was just because he was a bit tired. Um, tired I know, but, but I'll, his I'll, injury I'll, record isn't great either. Like yeah. to be honest with you as well, I'll, so we do have I'll to be believe careful. That. I need to wait till I see pictures of him in training this week, and, and, and yeah. if I believe that, because I mean, we've heard that a lot of times before. Oh, it's yeah. just a minor thing, and a player misses like three or four games. I was just tired, and then he he misses a couple of games, like. Until I see him in the training pictures this week, I, I'm, I'm not believing that he was just tired. But to be fair, when he was walking off, he 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 he, lo- he looked all right. But no, it, it, it does beg a genuine question, and I never thought I'd say it. Because look, Reese James is an exceptional footballer, probably one of the best right backs, if not the best right back in the world, on his day when he's in form. There's actually a, I can't believe I'm potentially saying this, but there is a genuine conversation to be had when they're both fit. Like I, I don't think it's perhaps. I'd probably still give it to Reese, but I don't think it's perhaps quite as obvious a decision as maybe a lot of Chelsea fans thought at the start of the season. I think there's actually a genuine, you know, thing to say that there's not, doesn't seem to be an awful lot between them. I, I don't think there's this massive gap that there perhaps was at the start of the season between Reese and Malagusto. Oh, yeah, bro. No, definitely for sure. Like, um, I think there's very, very little difference between them now. And I'd be comfortable with even the team, like even um, even potentially Gusto uh, filling in at left back a few times like that. Um, that yeah. that just shows the best he has as well. Like, I remember the Newcastle game when he came on in the cup, how good he was. He changed the game for us. In my I mean, opinion, maybe maybe you can through. get them. Maybe you can get them both in. Maybe you both, can both in the pitch, yeah. Maybe you play Gusto at left back. To, I just feel like Gusto is too good not to be in the team. Like. It, I, I, I think he is, but that, for me, mate, there's a genuine decision to be made. Like I don't, I don't think right now, I don't think it's a clear one and two. I think you've got, a, I think you've got two number ones, or you've got a one and a one point five. Um, I, I don't think there's an awful lot of difference between it, and there is going to be a genuine decision that 
that that needs to be made. Um, you know, I, I don't know when Reese is going to be back. Maybe March, end of March. I'm not sure. He's the captain, so he probably is going to play. Um, but we've got ourselves a situation now where potentially for the next sort of eight to ten years, providing everything goes well, mate, right back sorted. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, um, I think the only thing that I'll put Reese ahead of Gusto is maybe that final ball in terms of the cross or Gold the shot, as well. For probably, I think his finishing's a lot better. Yeah, yeah. I think those <laughs> are the only things that I probably put Reese um above Gusto for. Maybe I think um, defensively he's probably a little bit better as well. Yeah, I re- I think reading the game, but I think uh, that's with Reese obviously having experience of played in the Premier League for how many uh, seasons? Reese is what? Premier how old four Reece, seasons? Reece, Reece season? I mean, is Reese 23, 24 now? Something like that, yeah. So he's had about three, four seasons in the Prem. This is Gusto's, what, first season in the Prem, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah I mean, it's just so impressive, man. And I just hope that um, Poch manages minutes carefully and stuff because I'm just worried about that injury record, bro. And that's that's the only thing that concerns me uh, with Gusto. Yeah. There's nothing on his ability as, as a player. I mean, he, um, and, yeah, and, there's, and there's no doubt he's going to get better. And maybe potentially, if we, whoever the next manager would be in the future, um, we might see Reese play, Reese, Reese drop into right centre back, and Gusto maybe at right wing back. We might see that potentially as well. Yeah, there, there's there's options, and they're, and and they're nice options to have, absolutely. But yeah, no, he, he's been he's he's been a revelation. He's been an absolute revelation. I honestly didn't expect him to be this good. Um, I guess naively, I perhaps didn't expect him to be playing as much as he has done. But, but I guess, yeah. like, you know, if you sign as a backup right back and Reese James, unfortunately, you know, with his injury record, you know that you're probably going to be playing a lot, a lot of games. Um, that's that's the reality. You're going to you're going to be playing a lot of games. Um, and, and he's been Do you think Reese will get sold, bro? No, I don't think so. I, I, th- I think the big the big thing for me is when he comes back from this injury if he can stay fit for a sustained period of time, then I think we're good. But for it, uh, I'm not saying I'm not saying I would do this, but if he comes back and he breaks down again in sort of within the first three, four, five matches and he's had the surgery, that de- then there's there's a there is a big conversation to have. I'm not saying that I would personally sell him, but you sort of get to the point where like it doesn't matter how good you are, if you're simply not available to play and have an impact on the team. But then you've also got the situation, bro, where if he did if he did break down and Chelsea did think about moving him on, this is all hypothetical, of course. Mm, yeah, who yeah. who's who would take him with with this catalogue of injury issues? Mm. I mean, I, I don't know if, if if a top team would would do that. I mean, I'm not saying they wouldn't, but they they'd be massively they'd be massively massively wary of it. Yeah, no, that's true. But I think I think with Reese as well, I think he might have to change his position though if he. If he does sort of break down, it could be it could be too ex- it could be too explosive for him. Potentially, it could be yeah. too explosive for him playing right back. Be, yeah, I mean, but you we'll could see. say like, yeah. would you move him into midfield? We've got way too many midfield players. I mean, yeah, it's a tricky one. It's all it's all lives and buts. Let's just hope that you know he can stay fit and you know the the surgery's done the business. But obviously, Malagusto for us has just been he's been next level. He's been absolute next level. Um, you know, no, done that right no. side as well, bro. He, he he held that right side most of it, most of the time by himself as well, um, throughout the game as well, because he wasn't getting any help from the right side in the first half. No, um, no, he wasn't. I mean, Madueke wasn't really doing that no, well. He wasn't. Um, mm. he, he wasn't doing great, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be interesting. But yeah, it, it it was obviously absolutely vital that we that we got the job done last night. I mean, we're still waiting to find out the extent of the injuries to uh, Thiago Silva uh, and potentially Levi Colwell. Um, that would that could leave us with a massive headache for centre-back um, come the final. Uh, because if, if, if Colwell and Silva were both missing in a worst-case scenario, with Badia Shul already out, just maybe Chalaba goes and plays there. I mean, he's not, he hasn't kicked a ball since August. Uh, you know, you're 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 leaving yourself in a in a, in a little bit of a of a tricky situation, but yeah, it, it was it was it was a good win last night. It was important. We needed to get the job done. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting, isn't it, bro? That like how all, all the players sort of in the interviews afterwards as well, and in interviews recently, have said like you know how all the players are firmly behind the manager. I know a lot of the fan base still aren't behind the manager, but I guess the main thing is that as long as the players are behind the manager to a degree 
It's important the fans are as well, of course, but to a degree, the most important thing is the players are behind him. And from, what's, from what players are saying, I guess, you know, they are behind him. They do like him. And, you know, obviously we're under no illusion that results do need to improve. And this is two wins. That's not suddenly make, doesn't suddenly make everything all right. But, you know, I, 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 for me personally, with the manager, we do just have to get to the end of the season. By all means, reassess in the summer. But I think you're getting to the point now where it's too late to make a change now. You're not making a change before the cup final. Um, and afterwards, it's pointless. So whatever yeah. happens, bro, I think we're going to get to the end of the season and, and, and assess there. I, I, I want him to do well. I, I like him. I think he's a good I think he's a good guy. Um, you know, I think he's good for this squad. Tactically, maybe he's not all there. Um, 